welcome student to our english class today we will study about grammar so our topic is noun its types and in this we also learn about countable and uncountable noun singular and plural noun and also about gender so let discuss first about noun so student now let's see some nouns in this picture so on your slide in the picture you can see book shelf where so many books are there woman man girl uncle toy cat flower pots squirrel running up and down on the tree computer table etc so all these objects all these men they have their names so it means that they refer to some name so that's why it is called that that noun is a naming word so in short we can say that nouns are also called as naming words because it gives the name to person place things or object now let's see some exercise related to noun let's do the exercise related to noun so student here identify nouns in the following sentence sentences sandy is going school today sandy school is noun she traveled to mumbai and delhi here mumbai delhi jack wanted to meet my family jack family noun they never told me that they had so much money here money noun the honey bee stand for busy bee here honey bee b is noun could you could you pass the salt here salt noun i love red cars here cars is noun he has a big house here house noun my dog is quite playful here dog noun my uncle bought a new watch for me here uncle watch noun on your screen you can see types of noun so now we will learn about nouns and its type with the help of ample of examples so let's proceed to our types of noun these are the types of noun there are five types of noun first proper noun common noun collective noun abstract noun and material noun so student let's study one by one with the help of example proper noun a proper noun is the special word or name that we use for a person place or organization on your screen you can see the proper name of the boy 
कंट्री नेम कार नेम एंड द इमेज नेम सो ऑल दिस इज अ प्रॉपर नेम गिवन टू पर्सन प्लेस थिंग्स एक्सेट्रा इन शॉर्ट वी कैन से दैट अ प्रॉपर नेम गिवन टू अ स्पेसिफिक पर्सन प्लेस थिंग और आइडिया एंड वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इज दैट a proper noun is always starting with a capital letter so student on your screen you can see many examples related to proper noun what is a common noun a common noun is the word for something example boy it is different from a proper noun which is the name we give to something example peter common noun is a common used for a person place or a thing for example your girl so every time we are not saying the name so in place of name we say girl city every time we are not taking a name of a city so in place of name we are saying city so like this it is for other an abstract noun is a word which names something that you cannot see hear touch smell or taste example related to abstract noun we have to get at the truth of the matter in this sentence truth is abstract noun mary isn't the type of person who gossips so again here gossips is abstract noun people lost faith in banks again faith is your abstract noun she will defeat them again your defeat is your abstract noun so in all this example you can only feel the word but you cannot see your touch smell or taste so student on your screen you can see ample of examples related to abstract noun so shock anger sadness etc so many examples are there so all these are abstract noun collective noun collective noun name a group or collection of people places things or ideas they are considered one unit and so they are singular example related to collective noun the crowd sounds like a herd of elephants so here the crowd is your collective noun the staff includes professionals and non professionals again here staff is your collective noun the group of students is standing in line again group is your collective noun below also some examples are there related to collective noun such as the name used for a group of things it can be animal like squirrel or elephants it can be thing like tables or things so here again some example such as an army of soldiers a team of duck a bunch of keys 
a bouquet of flowers a weight of notes a bunch of keys a baskets of flowers a forest of trees so all these are the examples of collective noun material noun a material noun is that which refer to a material or substance from which things are made such as silver gold iron cotton etc so on your screen you can see the example related to material noun means for example toothpaste so it made from the material then necklace is there so it made from the gold silver etc money it's made from paper rain water so so many examples are there then you can see the wood means mostly the chair it's made from wood so again it's a material noun house made from bricks and cements material noun bag made from leather cup made from plastic or glass so all these substance are made from material so it is called material noun let's do the exercise related to types of noun so student here identify which types of nouns the highlighted words are raman is a good boy here raman is proper noun boy common noun one should believe in truth here truth is abstract noun a soldier is respected for his bravery here soldier collective noun bravery abstract noun ornaments are made of gold and silver here ornaments common noun gold silver material noun the case was decided by a bench of judges here case judges is common noun bench collective noun mumbai is a big city mumbai proper noun city common noun the team won the match here team is collective noun match common noun blindness is the greatest curse here blindness curse is abstract noun wisdom is better than strength wisdom strength is abstract noun this table is made of steel table common noun steel material noun so let's see our countable and uncountable noun so student count noun proper noun common noun so here common noun is divided into two that is countable and uncountable again countable is also divided into two that is abstract and concrete so let's see the example and details about countable and uncountable for example can be counted we call them as a countable noun cannot be counted we call as a uncountable noun 
example of countable noun that is an apple school pictures etc uncountable noun example sugar information water understanding etc so student on your screen you can see ample of example of countable and uncountable noun so here you can see x banana you can count but whereas milk flow you are unable to count so it's come in uncountable now another example all you fries it's a countable then salt sugar uncountable burger hot dog countable jam meat uncountable so all these are the example of countable and uncountable noun let's do the exercise related to countable and uncountable noun so student here identify which of the following underlined noun are countable and uncountable the children are playing in the garden children countable noun i don't like milk milk uncountable noun i prefer tea tea uncountable noun scientists say that the environment is threatened by pollution scientist countable noun environment uncountable uncount uncountable noun my mother uses butter to prepare cakes butter uncountable noun there are a lot of windows in our classroom windows countable noun we need some glue to fix this vase glue uncountable noun the waiters in this restaurant are very professional waiters countable noun my father drinks two big glasses of water every morning glasses countable noun the bread my mother prepares is delicious bread countable noun now student let's do singular and plural nouns and see how they are divided into singular and plural noun singular nouns and plural nouns related to one person or item is known as a singular noun related to more then one person or items is known as a plural noun so below that the images is there related to singular noun and plural noun for example an ant ants an apple apples an armchair armchairs a baby babies now let's learn some rule for plural nouns add s to form the plural of most nouns for example dog if we add x s it become dogs means many dogs computer if we add s then many computers second if the word and in s x z c h or s h add e s for example fox so we here we add e x for plural branch again we add e s for plural say third if the word ends in y change the y to i and add e s for example baby so in place of y we put i and add es puppy in place of y 
we add i and add es fourth rule if the word ends in f or fe change the f to and v and add es for example life so in place of f we add v we, we replace f to v and add es second hoof in place of f we replace v and add es if the word ends in y and has a vowel before it add s for example donkey so s we add s baby boys we add s sixth rule if the word and in a constant before an o add es potato so at the last we add es tomato es seventh rule some noun don't change when they become ruler for example ship deer eighth rule some nouns have a new spelling when they become ruler for example mouse mice child children so student these are eight rules related to our ruler noun let's do some example of singular noun and ruler noun here identify the singular noun and ruler noun in the following sentences there were two cats playing in the yard last night here cats is your ruler noun we saw a movie last night at the theater again movie is your singular noun my friends came to see me yesterday friends is your ruler noun i check out some books from the library books is your ruler noun i saw fishes in the pond last week fishes again is your ruler noun how many ants are on the dining table so here ants again a ruler noun there were two boats on the lake on the lake at sunset again boats is your ruler noun i help my dad to wash the car this morning so again car is your singular noun i found seven eggs in the kitchen coop again eggs is your ruler noun the dentist cleaned my teeth yesterday so your teeth is your ruler noun now let's study about noun and its gender student on your screen you can see gender of nouns so here you can see masculine and feminine gender neuter gender then common gender so let's study more about them in details in our next slide how many types of gender are there let's see noun gender so there are four types of gender masculine common feminine and neuter so let's see more about them gender indicates the sex of a person animal birds and insects now let's see 
masculine gender masculine gender denotes a male gender of person animals birds insects etc for example boy man dog monk uncle etc feminine gender denotes a female gender of person animal birds insects etc for example girl mother bitch aunt actress etc common gender denotes both male and female gender of a person animal birds etc example parents child teacher enemy person etc neuter gender denotes neither male nor female gender of a person animal birds insects etc for example book pencil tv school university etc so students these are four kind of gender let's see some examples related to it gender of noun now you can see in this three column masculine gender feminine gender and neuter so in masculine you can see prince feminine you can see princess and neuter you can see caster lion lioness tree wizard witch hat rooster hen feather groom bride flowers so all these are the example related to masculine feminine and neuter now let's see common gender now here you can see male child and female child so if we are talking for both so we call as a child now ram if both female and male so if you are talking about both we call it as a ship if you are talking about girl and boy so if you are talking both we call them as a student if you are talking about husband and wife so both we are consider as a spouse and for example friends for boys and girls so all these are the example of masculine gender fem feminine gender neuter gender and common gender now let's do some exercise related to gender so identify the gender of underlined words here jishan father is coming from singapore today your father is masculine gender they are going for a tour to russia your they is common gender mira's computer is out of order your computer is your neuter gender she is a famous poetess again your poetess is a feminine gender the guard is waiting for his master and mistress your guard is common gender whereas master is masculine gender and mistress is feminine gender the man is comparing his wife beauty with the moon your man is the masculine gender wife is feminine gender moon is a neuter gender the chairman arrived on time at the meeting so again here chairman is a masculine gender she remain a spinster again here spinster means feminine gender the horse 
clear the hurdle easily again a yeah, horse is a masculine gender the man sat watching tv here yeah, man is masculine gender and tv is a neuter gender let's do the recap of our grammar now so in this module we learn about noun then its type that is common noun proper noun collective noun and abstract noun and after that we learn that abstract noun is divided into two that is countable and uncountable then we learn about a gender so in gender we learn four gender that is masculine feminine common and neuter then we learn about number noun that is singular noun and a plural noun Thank you student